What is going on guys? Today Oxido has sent us more LED bulbs. This time it's the reverse bulbs and the brake light bulbs. So guys, let's get into installing these on my 2018 Ford Focus ST. Alright guys, I just showed you a slow pan over the brake bulbs and the reverse light bulbs. Guys, not only are Oxido bulbs super bright, they look really cool too. Like I, every time I look at a new set of these, I'm like, man, these look good. Guys, I do have you a 15% off discount code. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link it right here. It's Brian Lewis, uh, no spaces. I'll link that and Oxido's website in the description box below. Guys, for all your automotive LED needs, visit Oxido.com. Like I said, I'll link in the description box below. Thank you so much, Oxido, for sending us bulbs and uh, being a big part of a Brian Lewis vlog. With that being said, guys, we're going to show you the before of the uh, brake bulbs and the reverse lights. And uh, don't mind him. Uh, this is my dog, Yoshi. I'm trying to get him used to uh, being a garage dog and filming. So if you hear him jingling or see him pouncing on me today, just ignore him. We're trying to get him used to the garage and uh, being an old garage dog. So anyways, we're going to show you the before shot of the brake light and reverse lights now. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page. But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Got up in a daydream I made my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinion, safely It's how I end Alright, first thing to do is get this tail light out So I'm only going to film one side But both uh, removal of the tail lights are the same on each side So it's pretty dark in here So hopefully you all can see this But pull this off there's this thing I'm taking you and screw this. Like so. And then if you look up in here, right there, you can't really see it without the light, but there's another one right there. So I'm gonna try to put the camera down. So actually to get these tail lights out on the focuses, there's no tools necessary. Which I think is pretty cool if you're just trying to change a brake light or whatever. But yeah. So Yoshi, Yoshi, please get off the car. Sit. So yeah, it's just these little wing nuts that hold the tail light in. So let's get on the outside and see uh I think there's one more thing holding it in. I know for sure there's a tab like right here, but I don't think it's gonna be very hard to get off. There's literally a plastic tab right here. It goes in right here. And uh, you just gently pull it out and it's good to go. It's on the harness. Yoshi's trying to help me here, but you just push this in right here to unplug the hotel light. So now we're gonna set it up right here. So here's a close up of that tab I was telling you about. And then here's where the wing nuts held it on. And then here's the location of the plastic tab. Probably gonna clean this up while I got it out. But for now, let's get this set up. I'm gonna wipe the back of these off and then we're gonna swap these bulbs out. All right, so until it goes in the car just like this, I'm gonna lay it face down. Actually, we need to locate the brake bulb. So, brake bulb is the top one, reverse light's the bottom one. So, there's like two. Okay. So, 
pretty sure this is the bright bulb. So gently remove this out. This plug looks a little bit burnt. Okay, good. Got that out. So it'll focus. There's the before and after the difference. Boom, perfect fit. So it'll be this one furthest to this way, so twist. And then there's before and after. Might not be, might be blurry, but dude, this looks so cool, guys. Again, I know I've already thanked them. A huge shout out to Bill at Oxido. He's a real MVP. Let's try to... All right. I think we are in. All right, guys. Super simple. I'm going to go ahead and put this side back together. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you. Uh, we'll look at them side by side while the uh, OEM ones are still on the right side. And like I said, I'm not going to film uh, doing the other side, but uh, I will. Uh, sorry for the weird camera angle. I just don't want to move it because it's a pretty good angle for this. So brake bulb, reverse bulb. And like I said, I'm not going to film the other side because uh, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's identical. So I'm going to show you uh, the before and after while the other side is still OEM. And then I'll show you the after uh, with both sides done uh, at the very end of the video. light looked awesome but the brake bulb was like flashing or not working so I took it back apart and I flipped flopped the bulb around so hopefully that fixes the issue we're having all right so the reverse bulbs are working um, the brake bulbs are not. They're flashing a couple times and then they're quitting and just the running light is staying on. So I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know if I have to do something or if the system's not used to the brake bulb being an LED bulb. But I went ahead and I, I put the other side in. We're going to see what happens with both of them in together and uh, see if that makes a difference. So, unfortunately, I don't think the bright bulbs are going to work right now. I am going to reach back out to Oxido and show them my problem. Uh, Oxido makes all of these bulbs. So, anytime there's a problem, like they sent me some high beam bulbs and uh, they did not fit or work. So, they're going to redesign them so they will uh, fit and work on my car. But anyways, guys. So, unfortunately, the brake bulbs aren't going to work today, but the reverse lights look killer. So, I will show the before and after of those because uh, they do look amazing. They're so much brighter. Again, thank you so much, Oxido. Guys, I will link Oxido's website down in the description box below. Again, use code Brian Lewis and uh, save yourself some money. 
all right, guys, I'm going to get this back together. Uh, to install these tail lights, you just put them back in, screw those wing nuts on, and put those little soft covers back over the tail lights on the inside of your hatch. Uh, it's no big deal, so I'm not going to really film it. But uh, let's cut to uh, these sick reverse lights. All right, guys, so I'm a little bummed out about the brake lights, but it might not be Oxido's fault. I just researched some forums, and apparently a lot of people are having trouble with LED lights on these cars, uh, just for the brake bulbs anyways. So although I don't recommend getting the brake bulbs at this moment, uh, just until they're updated or they find a way for them working, but right now in my car, I have the Oxido low beam fog lights. And now the reverse lights. And guys, they are incredible. They're awesome. Great company. And uh, great people working at the company too. Awesome customer service. If you do have a problem, guys, they are going to make it right. Bill's always made it right for me. And uh, like I said, they're redesigning the high beam bulbs for me. And I have no doubt they're going to redesign these brake lights uh, for this Focus ST. So you all can get on the in on the action as well. But guys, that's from the end of today's video. Make sure you visit Oxido.com. I'll link all of it in the description box below. Code Brian Lewis again, save 15% off of any purchase on the website for any LED bulb. And not just for the Focus ST, for any car or truck or an SUV on the website. Um, I'm going to link, bless you little buddy. I'm going to link uh, the, some Amazon affiliate links in the description box below. Click, purchase anything at no extra cost to you. It does help the channel out. Yoshi's trying to tell y'all bye. And uh, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tell them, Yoshi. Until next time. One last clip, guys. Uh, I'm in my office vibing. Uh, I did reach out to Bill and uh, send him a video of the brake bulbs, what they were doing. He said, I need their decoder. I'm not sure what that means. I've never heard of it. But he is sending that to me. So as soon as the decoder comes in, I'm going to install it and reinstall those brake light bulbs. And I will do a separate video for that. So guys, I will keep you updated on that. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.